Bonjour. Bonjour everyone, Pentuf here today for another video in which we have the pleasure of watching Mimi Easy from the RNG clan as you can see right there. And he's gonna have one of the most impressive games I ever saw at tier 8. Literally, the amount of damage that guy managed to pull out is pff, insane, just insane. And uh, it allows me also to talk about those kind of tanks that are tech tree tanks and that are not necessarily broken but still can stand their ground because i know a lot of people are saying hey this game becomes pay to win blah 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 and yes for some tanks it's true for example the smasher or the annihilator but trust me you still have a lot of high competitive tech tree tanks you just need to know how to use them and that's the case of mimi you're gonna see in this game so concerning the playstyle, as you can see he decided not to go into the town but rather go to the mine to use Use his gun depression to be able to sneak some shots on his opponents i don't know if that's the best tactic usually i don't do that simply because with that huge cupola that tank is carrying it's quite easy for your opponents to penetrate you even if you're in all down so i would rather go for something a little bit sneakier for example going in the town and trying to side scrape or things like that he decided not to do that and as you can see it's not a problem because with his 440 alpha damage gun that he is packing it's easy for him to push through the defenses of his opponents. I kind of like how he's playing his tank. He's not in retreat. He's not waiting for his teammates to push with him. He goes in through and that's exactly what you want to do with the VK100P because that's the line that will allow you to get to the mouse. And the mouse is one of the few tanks with which you need to push forward. And I like that he already understands the abilities and what he needs to do on the battlefield playing the tier 8 and not necessarily the tier 10. For example, he's lucky that he's playing against uh, that KV-3 that doesn't seem to know really what he's doing because it's quite easy actually to penetrate the VK-100. You just have to shoot through the lower plate of the tank but it seems like the KV-3 doesn't really know how HUD works. Maybe he thinks that the easiest way to penetrate the VK shooting in the red parts, who knows. But it's not a problem for him. He angles his tank, he's trying to to wiggle a little bit hoping for the kv3 to miss his shots on the lower part of the hole and it worked now he goes in an apcr to be sure to secure the kill he kills the boy three kills going back to a safe position without being able to get penetrated now amazing playstyle. literally he knows how he's playing he knows how to play his tanks and oh gosh that was an insane shot he straight into the ass of the annihilator i want to remind you that with 440 alpha damage it's quite easy for you to pack 500 alpha damage with HE. He knows that, he tries his luck on the Annihilator and thanks to the RNG God, it worked perfectly. Of course, during this game, he's a little bit helped by the RNG, but you gotta be honest with yourself. That guy is packing some serious skill. He knows how to play his tank and he's definitely doing the right thing. I kind of love what he's doing right now or what he did two seconds ago. As you can see, he's trying to elevate his gun to block or prevent the VK in front of him to be able to shoot at his cupola. I know not a lot of people are doing that with their tanks, but it's quite an effective tactic. It's nearly only super unicoms. I never saw an average player using that or even wiggling with your tank, but trust me, it's one of the best things to do when you have this kind of huge cupola that is quite easy to penetrate. Now, he's in a 1 versus 3 situation. He was in a 1 versus kind of a 1 versus 4 previously. He needs to kill that VK as soon as possible because he has to deal with the rest of the enemies. He decided to go for a shot on the T29. Uh, I wouldn't have done that personally, but we're going to see if that's going to be a problem for him to deal with that VK. He's trying to hide as much as possible his cupola, but unfortunately for him, unlike the KV-3, that VK-100 knows how to shoot and where to shoot especially. He goes for another shot on the T29. And yeah, here he's in a really tricky situation. He has to deal with the VK100. That's the first one he needs to kill. But before shooting at the VK, there is still the AT15 on the side. And the problem is that with the AT15 having more than 4K average damage, uh, 4K average damage, 4K average DPM, it's quite hard. He needs to isolate himself from the AT. He needs to do something. Come on, kill that VK. Luckily for him, he bounced the guy. Now there is the AT. AT and he's trying to stick himself to the AT. It seems like it's a really tricky situation. I literally don't have a clue how it's gonna hand or how he's gonna be able to bounce the guy. He's trying to block the shots from the AT. He sneaks in another shot on the AT and luckily for him the AT is not able to penetrate. It seems like the AT doesn't really know where the where the 
Coppola of the VK is. And it's gonna work for him. He's, it's gonna work and he decided to go on the AT before going on the T29. And that was the perfect thing to do because it seems like the T29 can't penetrate the VK. Not a single one of them are trying to go for the Cupola. And even going for the Cupola, I don't think the T29 with the first gun has enough penetration to be able to go through it because it's really armored, even knowing it's a weak spot. He is angling his tank as much as possible. He's already on 7.6k damage and 5,000 damage blocked. He goes for a last shot and no, unfortunately for him, he bounced. But it seems like he's still confident. It should be good for him because the only thing he has to do is angling and wiggling his tank against the T29. Is he going to be able to penetrate the cupola? I don't think there is a surprise there. He sneaks the last shot, securing seven kills and completely annihilating the top one Hall of Fame game with the VK. Just wow, just wow. An amazing amazing game it was beautiful to watch beautiful to comment and gotta be honest even if you had quite a lot of luck at the end with the AT15 and the T29 you still have to agree that this guy is packing some serious skill anyway guys hope you enjoyed if that's the case feel free to subscribe like and share I'm gonna see you soon for a new video I don't really know when probably this afternoon or maybe tomorrow uh, I don't have a clue yet hope you enjoyed and see ya